Hello everyone, this is Chelsea from Those With Words. Welcome to the channel. Today I'm here to share with you my 2024 Techo Kaigi, better known as what kinds of planners and journals I'll be using for next year. I have everything with me right here from my personal planner to my memory keeping journal to two new systems that I'll actually be implementing in 2024 that I haven't used this year. So let's go ahead and get started. The first planner that I would like to share is my plotter. So this is the fifth anniversary version in the Lishio Green, and I've been using this as my personal planner for all of 2023. Here is my word of the year, which is grounded. So I'm going to be updating that in advance of 2024. And it's been really, really helpful for me to have everything in one place for personal planning. So my monthly right here just keeps track of my appointments, my YouTube videos, among other things. And then I also track some spending here as well. And in my weekly pages, I write more detailed to-dos. On the left-hand side, I actually keep that for incoming mail as well as creative to do's a lot of which has to do with this YouTube channel and then on the right hand side I keep track of more personal to do's sometimes I actually even have things like this weekly spread writing and decoration catch up so that's for me to remember to work on my um, weekly memory keeping journal otherwise it's just things like laundry cleaning the patio finishing certain things you know like um just everyday to-dos, just really simple stuff. But it's been working out really well for me so far. I don't really decorate in this, as you can tell, but I really enjoy it. And I'm planning to continue the exact same setup, but with the 2024 plotter, monthly and weekly inserts for next year. I do keep track of some other things, uh, creative to-dos and lists and video planning and things along those lines in some of the other pages. I will go ahead and link my plotter setup video down below for your reference so you can have a more detailed look at that. And I'm not planning to change too much of that either. It's kind of like a, you know, it's not broken, so there's no reason to fix it. Um, I'm just going to continue using this as my personal planner for 2024. Really, really happy with it. The size is really nice. Um, it fits into my bags really easily. I can also just toss it into anything pretty much on the go. So I enjoy it a lot and I'm just going to keep using um, it exactly as how I have been doing so far. Next up is my traveler's notebook. This is the Tokyo Station brown traveler's notebook in the regular or standard size. This will be my memory keeping journal, but I will do a free form approach instead of a weekly memory keeping approach. Right now, this cover just houses my ephemera journal. So I have filled this insert to the brim just with a bunch of different ephemera I've gathered throughout the year, whether it's from travel, you know, like just excess ephemera that did not quite make it into my travel journals. So they made their way here or from shopping or I don't know, just packaging from snacks, <laughs> as you can see here. So there's just a bunch of different things in here and I really enjoyed it so far. But next year, I want to keep using this cover in particular just to start out the year. Um, and I'm just going to use just one of my many, many special edition inserts that I have from Traveler's Company. So this is a Nakamegro one from Starbucks Reserve in Tokyo. And then this is from... The superior labor in Kurashiki so I have an insert from them and then this is actually a couple years old this is from I think when there was a Madrid pop-up in Spain and it says 2019 so this is actually a couple of years old so I just have so many of these beautiful refills that are just kind of sitting there so instead of saving them for special occasions or trips I just want to use them for regular memory keeping so that is the plan and there's no fixed method to this if I want to journal about something I will if not I won't so it'll be more low-key next year in terms of memory keeping 
This year, how I've been doing it is in this Superior Labor Traveler's Notebook. So this is just a black Traveler's Notebook, but it was customized in Kurashiki. And I have been using a weekly memory keeping system. So this is just the undated. It's one of the older inserts um, from Traveler's Company. I believe when they were still Midori. I'm not really sure. Um, it says Midori Japan, but it says Traveler's Notebook right here. So, um, But this is one of the older inserts undated where the weekend is combined. And I really enjoyed using this. I have a completed one from January to June. And then right now I'm in the July to December. I really love using it. And what I like most about this insert actually is flipping through it after I'm done. It's very, very satisfying. But it often has felt a little bit more like homework to complete this, especially if I have another project going on at the same time, like a travel journal, for example. Then coming back in here and filling in all the details just kind of feels like a little unnecessary. So I am going to end this weekly memory keeping, just finish it out for the year, and then go to more of like a free form journaling practice in the Traveler's Notebook which I think will work much better for me. So that is what's changing between 2023 and 2024 in terms of memory keeping in my traveler's notebook. I will also swap out the cover every once in a while. I'm not always going to be in this Tokyo Station cover. I have other regular traveler's notebooks that are also waiting to be used again. So I'm probably going to swap that out um, just depending on my mood. And also when I travel, I am planning to also use traveler's notebooks for that um, just continuously as well. I've done that as long as I've used traveler's notebooks since 2017, and I plan to continue that in 2024. Next up is my Hobonichi Weeks, which I'll be using as a health journal. I chose this beautiful Falling Stars version this year, and this is in the English edition. I have never used the Hobonichi Weeks before. I have used the A6 Techo um, a couple of times. I used it in 2017 and then I picked it up again actually this year. So I have an A6 right now in the One Piece edition that I'm using as a health journal to keep track of meals, exercise, and just like other physical and mental symptoms. And for this one, I'm really excited to... Um, use this for next year. I think this format will really allow me to um, use the weeks to like a full capacity. So on the monthly pages, I am hoping to keep track of physical and mental symptoms, just really quick summaries, nothing too detailed, but let's say I had a headache or I don't know, I um, my back or my hands, which I've had issues with before, if they flare up again, you know, I want to keep track of those things. So it's easier if I go to the doctor to explain what's been going on. And then on the weekly pages, this is where I want to keep track of meals and exercise. So in the Hobonichi weeks, there are these little sections that you can block off. And I think that's really perfect for breakfast, lunch and dinner. So I want to use it that way. And then on this side, I, you know, if I do want to write a little bit more about what kind of exercise I did that week, how I felt, did I push myself or, you know, was it something that I'm used to? Things along those lines, which I feel like I'm not doing as effectively in the A6 Tetro this year. So really looking forward to just having this open space on the right side to talk a little bit more about those things. And then on the back... There are these numbered pages. So there are these notes pages in the back of the Hobonichi Weeks. And this is where I want to keep track of appointment notes. So if I go to the doctor um, and just kind of talk about what happened during the appointment, what we discussed, what was the resolution, how did I feel afterwards, things like that. I think this should be hopefully enough for that. So I'll be using the back for that. So I really feel like Every part of the Hobonichi Weeks is going to be really useful for me next year as a health journal. And also the size I think will be really great for carrying in any kind of bag. So right now, 
like I said, I'm using the A6. And it's not that it's too big or anything, but I think with the daily pages, it does get a little bit bulky. I have not really done any decorating in this either. It's just writing and it's a bit hefty with the cover and everything. So I think the weeks will be a little bit more manageable for that. I will be using it with this pencil board also from the same artist. And then I just have the simple cover from Hobonichi. I don't really have anything um, specially planned in terms of a cover for the weeks yet. I'm hoping this particular setup really works out. And if I continue to use the weeks, then maybe I'll invest in like a leather cover of some sort. But as of right now, I'm just trying to keep it pretty minimal to start out with since next year will be the first time I am using the Hobonichi weeks. And then I also have this Yohand dessert index stickers, which I think are really adorable. And I'm just gonna be using these to mark off the months so that I can have them for easy reference. So that is my plan for the Hobonichi Weeks as a health journal in 2024. Last but not least is my Nolte 1180 planner. I've been calling it the Nolte 1180. I'm not sure if it's the 1180 or the 1180. I don't really know. 1180 basically is the number for this particular one. There are so many things I really enjoy about this little planner. I will link my unboxing and a slightly more detailed description of the video um, in the unboxing video down below. So it comes with these monthly pages, the weekly, which I really like um, that there is this free grid note uh, page just like this area right here that you can just play around in. And then each and every page has a little perforation. So you can tear that out once you're done and really quickly flip to the current week, which I think is really cool because I don't think this planner comes with any bookmarks. And then it also has a separate grid notebook in the back that's separately um, inserted into the cover. So what I'm planning to do is I'm going to remove this from the 2024 Nolte cover. This just comes with the planner. I am going to insert the notebook into the Traveler's Company passport size zipper case right here in the back. And I'm going to put it into my Olive Passport Traveler's Notebook. I've been really enjoying this particular cover, so I think this combination will work together really well. I've already tested it once before and it fits really well together, so I'm looking forward to using them as a combination. And then I'm also going to use the Hobonichi Techo pen that I got as part of my order. And then also this Traveler's Town Olive tag from Traveler's Company also a part of my order from Traveler's Company this year. So everything is just kind of coming together in a way. I really like this entire color scheme together. And I'm really looking forward to carrying this with me as an everyday carry. So this particular little notebook is going to be my quick daily log to refer to later for memory keeping in my Traveler's Notebook. So as I mentioned earlier in this video, I'm going to use this regular size traveler's notebook for free form memory keeping, just like in a refill um, that I've been you know, hoarding probably for too long. And I'm going to just carry this with me everywhere I go and jot down little things that have happened throughout the day, small things that I wanna remember, or if there was some big event that I really wanna make sure to journal about later, I'll jot down a couple bullet points so I remember what to journal about. And then I can come back and use my regular size traveler's notebook with all my you know, washi tape and PET tape stickers and all of those fun other things and put ephemera in there as well. So that's all gonna go in the regular size traveler's notebook, but this will be a point of reference for me because I forget a whole lot of detail if I don't write it down. I feel like part of the reason I like notebooks and planners in the first place is because they help me remember things. If I don't write them down, I forget a lot. So that's where they come in really handy. So this is gonna be a little daily log, very casual. I'm just gonna carry the Hobonichi Techo pen. This is a ballpoint pen in the Uni Jet Stream. And um, yeah, nothing really fancy in here. It's just gonna be quick logs 
almost like a a written commonplace book. Obviously, this is way too small for ephemera and uh, for it to be like a proper commonplace book, I feel like, at least for me personally. Um, but I just want to jot down what comes to mind or just particular things that I want to remember for later. So that is going to be the setup for the Nolte 1180. I tried to get everything into the screen as best as I can. So this is going to be my 2024 setup. My personal planning will be in the plotter, Bible size. My memory keeping free form will be in the regular size traveler's notebook. This is the Hobonichi Weeks, which I'll use for health journaling. And then this is the Nolte 1180 for daily logging. Hopefully this will work out a little bit better for me. I really do think the change that I'm making in the way that I memory keep in the Traveler's Notebook will be super helpful. And the health journal will, I think, work out a little bit better. And the daily log is going to be a new practice for me, but I'm really excited to try it out. So that is the overview of my 2024 Techo Kaigi. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye.